Um, so I'm going to talk about a problem that uh, you may not know exists, uh, because until a few years ago, all the data on the internet was static, meaning if you and I saw, looked at the same web page, we'd both see the same information. But starting uh, a few years ago, the clicker's not working. Um, clicker, guys. Anyway, I'll continue until it works. Uh, starting a few years ago, the web became dynamic there. And when you went into a website, you may have seen, you may have been looking for a, uh, a price of an airline ticket. You may have seen one price, and your friend looking for the same airline ticket saw a different price. Why is that? Because of the dynamic web that we are in right now, the website knows who's looking at it and can decide what kind of information it wants to show. So in a way, it's good because everything is personalized. But it also creates new problems that, uh, that we haven't anticipated, problems in, in fraud, in business intelligence. Um, for example, look at uh, shopping sites. Take a large uh, commerce site like Walmart. If Walmart wants to be the lowest price every day, they need to look at all their competitors online, find out what their price is at, and then algorithmically price themselves according to their competitors. But now their competitors know that it's them looking at them. So they can block them or they can change the price. So basically, the, the web is becoming more opaque. It's becoming less competitive because competition is, is difficult. It's also becoming more dangerous because uh, let's say that you're a large ad network and you want to make sure you're not serving malicious ads, viruses, Trojans, etc. So you are looking, you click every one of these ads as an ad company. And the malicious guys, they see that it's you clicking on the ad, and so they give you a good, uh, a good solid ad, but when it's a consumer clicking on the ad, then it gets a virus. Or uh, let's take one, uh, one, one last case. Let's say that you are a, a big brand like GoPro, and you want to make sure that all of the 10,000 stores online are selling your GoPro, pro GoPro product at $399, but when they see that it's you checking them, they give you the right price, and when it's a consumer, they'll show them the wrong price. So there's this new opacity on the internet because of this, the dynamic nature of the web. So a solution that has come up in the past few years is let's go through like an AWS. Let's not show them that it's us clicking. You know, if we're Walmart, let's go through servers. But that's uh, very easily identifiable. So the bad guys know, he doesn't know that it's Walmart looking at it, but it knows that somebody is hiding and looking at it and therefore will still act differently than it would if, if it was a consumer. So Luminati is, uh, uh, has basically developed a huge peer-to-peer -peer network of consumer devices, phones, laptops, PCs, of 30 million nodes in every city around the world. And our customers, uh, we have thousands of customers that are using our network to basically look at the internet the way it looks from every different angle. And this really solves the problem, because now, if you're an ad network and you want to look at advertisers, you basically click through our network, and you look to be a consumer living in Romania or uh, Berlin or wherever you want to be uh, looking like. And you actually see what consumers are seeing, so you can detect fraud. If you're, a, if you're an online retailer, you use Luminati, and you basically click through our network, and you emerge in different places around the world to see what our customers, what kind of prices are they getting around the world. So we've basically solved this opacity problem. We've, pr we've provided, we've created the internet again to be transparent, and, um, and that is the solution that, that we've developed. Now, how do we do that? We basically built this SDK of, the, of, the, of our peer-to-peer -peer technology that we provide to game developers, uh, app developers, et cetera, and they use that instead of advertising for monetization. So they basically offer the game player the option to say, do you want to uh, pay money for the game, or do you want to watch advertisements, or do you want to be part of this peer-to-peer -peer network? And we'll only use that device for like 20 seconds a day as part of our network, and only when it's plugged into the electricity and on Wi-Fi. But this way, we've built a huge, huge routing network uh, that enables us to provide this service to our customers. So um, basically, we have, we have millions of IPs. It's every city in the world. And we can provide a view from laptops, from phones, from any kind of, any kind of network. The business has been growing at a uh, tremendous uh, pace since we uh, started about three and a half years ago uh, with uh, a whole lot of blue chip customers. And recently, we were acquired by, uh, or uh, EMK Capital has acquired a majority stake 
uh, in our company, EMK from uh, here from London, and uh, we continue to, uh, to grow at an even faster rate now. So to summarize the, the market and, and the opportunity for us is that the, the web has become opaque. And if you look at a recent really interesting case, uh, LinkedIn basically went to court uh, with HiQ, which is a startup that's using LinkedIn data to make interesting analysis of uh, HR-related issues. Who's, leave, who's about to leave his company, who's left and is available for hire, et cetera. And so they had this case where HiQ was scraping LinkedIn information, and uh, LinkedIn asked them to stop because it's against the terms of service. Uh, so LinkedIn, is, uh, on, at this particular case, chose to be opaque. They don't want other people looking at its data. And HiQ chose to be trans transparent, basically to use that uh, information. And uh, the court ruled that HiQ is, uh, is right about this, and it's OK to look at, publicly information, at public information and use that. There's companies uh, that provide the ability to be opaque and to know who's looking at your website and to block information or, or to modify it. And there's Luminati on the other side that enables you to be transparent and to look at all this information. So this, this is an ongoing uh, thing in the internet now in this opacity versus transparency where Luminati chose to be on the side of transparency. Then you have all these online retailers who are basically on both sides. Because on one hand, they try to make their website opaque and not let the competitors see what their pricing is and uh, still be able to look at competition uh, to understand how to price differentially. The, uh, the business model for Illuminati is that we charge uh, according to the amount of data that our customers flow through our network. So we're basically like a service provider that lets our customers see the web from any perspective that they like, and we charge several dollars for every gig that passes in our network. Um, the, way, uh, the way we discovered the, the need for this uh, market uh, was sort of accidental. So one of the other things we were doing is we had this consumer VPN product called Hola VPN, which is one of the most popular VPNs in the market, and it's a peer-to-peer -peer VPN. So people were using it uh, as a VPN and also serving as an endpoint for that same VPN. And this created a huge peer-to-peer -peer network. And at some point, uh, about three and a half years ago, our customers for the consumer VPN came and said, we need this for our business. And this is sort of how Luminati was born three and a half years ago. And since then, it's, of course, overtaken the VPN itself. So uh, to conclude, uh, I'll use a quote from one of our big customers who says, Luminati is the absolute truth. When we need, it's a very large advertising, it's a huge advertising network. And they say, when we uh, actually need to know what's going on, on the internet, we use Luminati. Thank you very much.